Yes, I uh, appreciate that. Um, of course, it's, gonna, it's been a difficult time. It's been, you know, really challenging summer for me and a little bit longer than that. But I will say this, I'll say on behalf of all my family, if I didn't come to work today, I can hear my dad. I can hear him in me and he would be saying, get your backside to work. You've got a game to prepare. You've got a title to defend. And it's important to get on with life. And, you know, I long to that. And I was very, very happy to come back and see the players and stuff. And for kind of two weeks before you did to go, um, I like I said, it's normal for me. I, I've been so used to seeing players in Olympics, World Cups, Euros. It's 2023, right? I can think back to when I was coaching in 2003 and having this same challenge. So it's not unusual for for us, to Is be honest. Not changed by now? Um, I think the coordination of the international calendar, absolutely, between FIFA and UEFA has to change, but that's the work I think that is going on in the background to make sure that we don't, you know, have major events running into August. And just one you can make it a success. Um, I've always pushed and been an advocate of what we do. I hope we get a good broadcasting deal at the end of the year, okay. because that's important for the growth of the game. I hope we get even more prize money so we can trickle down to the rest. I hope commercially, marketing wise, we stay in big stadiums, so we all have to accept that it costs money if we want to be there. It's not a charity, it's a business. And we have to be in a position where maybe there'll be bits of trial and error to get that right. Uh, I know for us as a football club, we're learning about you know, how to keep improving that. Nonetheless, I want to be there. I want the players want to be there. Fans want to be there. You guys always get better looked after there. <laughs> so we need to keep pushing to, to make those things happen. And no cancellations because of weather. Oh, I, I, listen, first of all, it was of no surprise because I know how diligent she is off the pitch. Um, her attention to detail and all the tasks that matter to come back from an injury or a surgery to prepare herself for a country was never in doubt. And I think that's what, to be fair to lots of the players, that being professional means they learn that uh, more often than not. Millie copes in every circumstances, not just when you're doing well, she'll do it in a crisis. She'll do it when her back's against the wall. And I think um, England really needed that, particularly considering Leah's absence. Um, I mean, she's an extraordinary human and I love her to bits, I really do. I've got uh, so much love and respect for her because how much she's sacrificed um, for this club, for her country and, you know, I'm, I'm honoured that she will be our club captain this year, so I'll keep building on the good work she's doing.